I think we fairly proof tested everything. What you can expect with uh, L6 is a simple, elegant looking blade. Cutting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger targets. And uh, the sword has done nothing but performed very, very well for me. And uh, it's won uh, several competitions in the Japanese sword world. Um, it's, done, it's done some great things. It's always been the performance first. It's always been, this is a great blade. And um, they just keep getting better. The L6 blade achieves a balance between myth and reality. It's always been a collaboration between the smith and the polisher and, and the user and the warrior. Um, that's how the things evolved over a thousand year period to the shape and style and geometry and curve and everything that exists. And I like to think that we're continuing that evolution with this step. It's a very close-knit team effort between everything that we, that, that we try to do to make everything that we do better. And uh, Howard making these blades is the origin of that. Certainly more difficult to forge than the, than the traditional Japanese steel. It's great stuff, but you have to learn how to deal with it. And I guess that's part of the challenge is learning to deal with the chosen material. And one of the reasons I chose the material is because it's difficult to learn to deal with. Bainites, I think, a very important part of all this, not just the L6 metallurgy, and the ability to put the blade in that state.